All right, well, I actually came back pretty fast with another video because I'm actually going to try and sell this PC. Now, it's not worth a lot, but I did have to get it up to date. It did have Windows 10 on it that I found out last night. So now it's upgraded to Windows 11. But the BIOS is out of date, I think, by a couple of revisions. We're going to go ahead and check that out quick. I'll show you how to download the new BIOS, but this is an AMD um, setup here. And so it's a little older, but not, not so old. It's a 5600 for the AMD. It's an AM4 socket and paired with the motherboard of, I'm gonna have to look, excuse me, cause I just, I can't remember all this stuff. It's a B550M, it's a DS3H. So I can't remember everything that I have and all the, all the letters and numbers to everything. But it does have the processor in it, so I don't have to have a graphics card. It does have uh, built-in graphics, so that's kind of nice. But we're going to go ahead and try to sell this, but I want to get another BIOS update and get that for you guys. So in case you're wondering how to do it. And uh, yeah, so stick around for that and we'll do this. All right, let's get this thing powered on here. And again, I'll probably get you zoomed in here because I'm not going to actually record it. But we are going to do it the other way. Like I said, we're going to format this. Actually, it's already formatted into FAT, or not FAT32, excuse me, into NTFS. So that's the, the more modern way of doing things. Of course, always your backup is format the thumb drive into FAT32, guaranteed to work. Um, but otherwise, the NTFS, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so anyway, we're into Windows here, and I'm gonna have to get you zoomed in so I can look at the screen, which goes through the camera, and so I can see the monitor. So hang on a second. All right, well, let's get this uh, just shoved over to there so you can see everything on the screen, and so can I. Everything is a little smaller, actually, than last time. I got a little bit more of a gap right here between the PC and the monitor than I did my last video. But let's go ahead and check out the current BIOS. I always click on that first, I don't know why. So what we're gonna do is a right click on here. We're gonna come up here to run. And see, I'm gonna have to move some stuff over because I cannot see it. There's stuff on the camera that's preventing me to see it. Anyway, I gotta grab my keyboard up here. And what we're gonna type in is uh, MS Info 32 and just click enter and let's see what BIOS version we have. Right here is what we're looking at, this line. It says F15, is that correct? F15, yes. Okay, so we know what BIOS version we do have. Now, what BIOS is there available? Oh, and what was the date on that? So let's go back quickly. And the date was 729 of 2022. Yeah, so I looked this up on my other computer and it's way out of date. So uh, let's go to here. We're just in uh, Microsoft Edge. And we're gonna go, it's a gigabyte B550 um, DS3H, and we can see it's the option right there. Now we're just gonna scroll down and see how this has revisions. Always on your, on your motherboard, mainly it happens, I believe, in the corners of the motherboard, but somewhere on your motherboard, it'll have a revision. So you need to know what revision you have. And I'm gonna have to look because I cannot remember. So I'm gonna come around to the front and I'm just gonna peek in here. And, okay, so we have revision 1.2. That's what it says on the motherboard. So, <laughs> we don't have a revision 1.2 on there. Let me double check and make sure that it was revision 1.2, because that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it says 1.2. Uh, okay, so what do we do in that case? Do we have the wrong BIOS? 
or are there other revisions? Because I'll tell you what, that looks like our motherboard right there. Uh, let's see. Let's go to revision. Maybe they have other revisions in here if we just click on it. Ah, see, right there. Now we have it 1.0, 1 1.1, 1 .1, and 1.2, 1.3. That's what we want right there. So, uh, you know what? It probably set it up right here, and I didn't even, didn't even notice it. I'll notice that during the editing. Uh, okay, so what we're gonna do is come down. Nope, we need to click on support. Man, I don't even know what I'm doing. Click on support. All right, now what we can do is click on the BIOS right here. And then we're gonna scroll back up. And what did we have for the BIOS? We had the, what was our current BIOS? F15. So that's F3, F10, F12, and 14. And then that's 15A, but I have 15 right here. This is the latest one that I do have. All right, so we have 16A, we have 17. I'm just looking at some of the notes over here. That's why I'm taking a little bit longer. And we have, what was that, 19, 20B, 20D, 20G, all right, we're up to 20G. Let's go ahead and download this. This is the latest. All right, so that's downloaded. We can actually exit right out of here. And we're gonna open up our manila envelope. And we are gonna go to our downloads. We're, this is a zip file, so we're gonna do a right click. We are going to extract all. And we're going to extract, oh, this thing's always in the way. And we're gonna extract it right back to the downloads folder. Now this is the file we want, it's the only file in it. Uh, sometimes they have two or three or even four files, but normally you want the largest file. But we want this, we're gonna do control C on the keyboard. And then, or you can do a right click and copy. Then what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our thumb drive here. This is 128 gigabytes. We're gonna see if this is gonna work in an NTFS format. Stick it in your computer. Um, any port will do 2.0, 3.0. I stuck it in a 3.0. Now we should get a pop-up, I'm hoping. If not, okay, it's right down here. So you can go to this PC or click on it right here. We'll go to this PC so we can see it. See, it's right here. Now I'm gonna delete what's in here because this was from the previous video. Yes, we want to delete it. And then we are gonna do Control V letter V on your keyboard, control V, and that's gonna paste it. Or you can do a right click and click paste. All right, now we have it on the actual thumb drive, which is already on the computer, which is beautiful. The way I like to, without um, restarting the computer, uh, technically that's faster, but I like to go ahead and actually down here, I like to type in recovery, uh, recovery options, recovery system, recovery drive. That's not what I wanted. No, that's not what I want. Um, recovery, should be recovery options. That's control panel. Uh, I thought it was recovery. Let me try it a different way here. I don't know why that way is not bringing up what I want. We'll try settings and let's try uh, recovery or reset this recovery options. That's what I want. Okay, so now we go up to, or down I should say, to advanced startup. This way just guarantees you, you don't miss getting into the BIOS if you go ahead and restart your PC and then you are hitting the wrong key or you're using a keyboard that has Bluetooth on it because Bluetooth does not initialize until Windows is fully initialized. So this just avoids all that. That's the only reason why I do this. 
So we're gonna get a blue screen right here in a second. It's gonna give us some options and I'll show you how to get in there. So go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, and uh, right here, the UEFI Firmware Settings. Then we click on Restart. This is gonna get us directly into the BIOS by itself. This way you don't have to worry about pushing any buttons or the wrong button or doing it multiple times before you figure it out. And look at that, that's how quick it was. All right, we can see, where is it? Okay, so our BIOS version right here, we can see it still says F15. I'm trying to, my mouse is moving very slowly. And we can see we have a AMD Ryzen 5, uh, 2600, I forgot the G, the G uh, and it uh, says, indicates integrated graphics, 16 gigabytes of RAM. All right, so now I have to figure out, so we have a Q flash right here. This is what we want on this gigabyte motherboard. And then we are going to click on, uh, which one is it? Is it file? There we go. Um, had to click in the center there of them. And I am not, oh, right down here, the sand disk. That's the one we want. Uh, looked like it was already selected, so I'm not sure. Oh, um, right here, uh, F20G. So that's the file we want. Now we can click this other arrow. Every motherboard is just slightly different. Um, are you sure you want to update it? Yes, I'm pretty sure. Now sit back and enjoy watching this update. Sometimes it takes a couple of reboots. Sometimes you get a black screen, but don't panic. If you get a black screen, usually that happens on MSI boards. I don't know why. Um, usually this restarts on its own. I don't know why it's not. Press to re... Oh, push to start or press to start. Okay, now we're updating the BIOS. Uh, usually you don't have to do that on better more advanced motherboards. Usually it's just one click, it'll do it all for you. You don't have to hit two times. But you just got to pay attention to what's going on. Um, the other thing that you might want to worry about is just um, power outages. Don't disconnect your PC. Um, don't play with it right now. Don't try to do anything. Let it do its thing. Uh, walk away if you have to. Otherwise, just watch the monitor and don't do anything else. This part might take a little too long for me to just sit here and yip yap. So, plus you can't see me right now. So I'll probably cut to the end uh, just before it's done updating and we'll kind of take it from there. Okay, while it's really close, we're at 96% here. You can see actually over here, it says current flash and then update. Um, so now it's gonna reboot on its own. That just means over here where it was and where it's going to. Um, it was just kind of something I wanted to point out here. So this is the first reboot. Um, sometimes it only takes one reboot. Sometimes it can take two, three, four. Uh, believe it or not, I've had one BIOS update I had on a Z, I think it was a 490 chipset of Asus. It took like six or seven reboots. I'm not kidding. It was ridiculous. It was updating everything, you know, LED firmware and ME firmware and um, well, the management engine, um, it was updating all kinds of stuff. And I was just surprised how many times I had to reboot. Anyway, that is one reboot it did. Um, it almost looked like it did a second one there. I saw a splash screen for just a split second. And now we're getting right back into Windows, it looks like. Yep, all right. One reboot is all it took. We will go in here and uh, just confirm that we have an updated BIOS. We're just gonna click okay, because that's the MS Info 32. And right here we have 20 F20G. So we know our BIOS is updated successfully and we're back into Windows without any issues. Uh, generally speaking, you can go from your current BIOS to the absolute latest. There's Sometimes some circumstances are very rare that you have to go to a certain one first, but that's kind of rare. And sometimes if you go past a certain BIOS, you cannot revert back uh, because of potential vulnerabilities, 
security risks um, or something that they just don't want you to go back to because it's just uh, causes a lot of problems. So with that said, I guess there's nothing left else to talk about because the BIOS is up to date. This thing's ready to pretty much rock and roll. I don't think I want to put anything on it because it's just taking up more of my time for no reason. We are done with that BIOS update. And yeah, this thing uh, has been working pretty good. I, it's not like I've used it a long time or anything, but seems to be okay. And um, it's very simplistic. It, it's got nothing that can hardly go wrong with it. It's only got two fans in it. Uh, well, three fans, including the power supply fan, but um, very cheap build, but I might be able to get, I don't know, 150, 200 bucks out of this. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, for that motherboard that I mentioned, the CPU, we got a 500 watt VGA um, BR power supply in it. Um, no graphics card in this wooden case. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I can't get that much. But, um, you know, I figured fully assembled, ready to go. You could just start emailing, YouTubing, uh, browsing, buying stuff. Uh, things ready to go for just a couple hundred bucks. I, I don't think that's a bad deal. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, guys, take care.